In order to solve a polynomial inequality, well first what we need to do is we kind of need to just treat it as if it is a quadratic equation. You want to set it equal to zero and just solve it. Now typically when it comes to solving quadratic equations, we want to factor first. If we can't factor it, throw it in the quadratic formula. Uh, it tends to be the easiest ways to handle quadratics. So I'm going to see if I can factor this. Well, factoring this, I know that x squared tells me x times x. Factors of 35 that add or subtract to get a 2 is going to be 5 times 7. If the back number is negative, that tells us that these need to be different signs. Middle term always goes with the bigger number, so that means a plus needs to go with a 5. Take your factors, split them up, set them each equal to 0, and solve. So when we subtract 5 on each side here, we get that x is a negative 5. And then by adding the 7 to the other side, we get x is equal to 7 here. Now, what this tells us here, if we're taking a look at our number line, right here we have a negative 5 and then we have a 7 here. So negative 5 and 7 are called boundary points here. If we want to solve the polynomial inequality, keep in mind that our answer is an interval here. We're going to be shading part of this graph here, either on the left, here in the middle, possibly on the right hand side. So what we need to do after this point here is we need to test intervals. Pick a number on this side here, maybe negative 6. Pick something between negative 5 and 7 and throw that into your original problem here and test it. Pick something bigger than 7. Now rule of thumb, what I tend to do with these problems here is when it comes to solving polynomial inequalities, you are shading in between or you are shading on the outskirts over here. These are the two situations that you're looking at here. So what I do is I tend to just focus on one of these areas. I'm going to choose the middle section because in the middle section, that's where the number zero falls. And zero just makes our math easier. I'm going to plug in a zero into my original equation or our original inequality here. It must be the original, the inequality version, not the equation one. Plugging in zero here and simplifying this. Zero squared is zero. Negative two times zero cancels. And we are left with a negative 35 is less than zero. If this is true, we're going to shade the section that that zero was in. If this is not true, we do not shade that section. Now, negative 35 is definitely less than zero. A negative number is less than zero. So that means this section here where I tested zero does work. That means uh, my solution here is going to be this negative five to the seven with parentheses here wrapped around it.